me because um, you know my background was mentioned. It was not a high school teacher. It was actually my parole officer. <laughs> a little different, um, but that. <laughs> You're like, oh my goodness, she was on parole. What is the story on that? Um, you know, very quickly, I did come from a very, um, very challenging background. It's the reason, though, why I decided to run for office to begin with. Because so many of our young people, so many of our families in this country are still experiencing the same challenges that I went through so many years ago growing up in Northeast Las Vegas. So we did grow up, I grew up from, uh, my pa parents were immigrants from Mexico. My mom left my family when I was nine. We had very, very um, uh, challenging, uh, in challenging circumstances. My dad was literally working day and night to keep me and my 10 other brothers and sisters clothed and fed. And of course, I was surrounded by not a whole lot of good role models. I fell in with the wrong crowd. I was a gifted and talented education student, but that didn't make a difference because I was in a bad school. And when I started failing all those placement exams, no one noticed and no one intervened. So what happened? I started to get in trouble. I ended up on juvenile parole at 15. I ended up dropping out of high school at 17. And every single one of my sisters were teenage moms. My one sister was 14 years old when she had twins. Oh. So when I was 16, yes, I decided that I was going to have an abortion because I thought, you know, I have to give myself an opportunity. I have to figure this out. And I went to my dad. And it was the hardest thing that I ever did in my life. And I said, Dad, I want to try something different and he gave me the money and I went and I had that procedure and I spoke very openly about it and very proudly about it because we live in a country where we have the right to do that to make those decisions for ourselves. And, you know, as a result, my life was threatened. It was one of the most terrible, terrible experiences I had ever gone through as a sitting state legislator and it was not lost on me that I was sitting in the state capitol in that building having gone through all of these challenges in my life having had the good fortune of having a parole officer come into my life and make that difference for me and set me on that right path to ex escape that challenge that that cycle of poverty and violence to only be sitting in my capital as the first hispanic woman ever